starting at the top, it says, for any rhombus JKLM, state whether these statements are always or sometimes true and draw a diagram and explain your reasoning. Like I said, we're going to try to shortcut this as much as we can. I'm going to draw one rhombus as best I can to just as a reference. Call it JKLM. Remember, when using these letters, you have to go in order. So that's what I did. Okay, so it wants to know whether these statements are always or sometimes true for a rhombus. It says L is congruent to M. Well, not always, because we can see right there they're not equal, but the time it would be equal is in a square. So sometimes um, when the rhombus is a square. And then it says K is equal to M. That would be always. JM equal to KL. Well, in a rhombus, all the sides are equal, so that would be always. JK congruent to KL. Yes, always. Rhombus has all the sides equal. Then JL and KM. It's asking if the diagonal is equal to this diagonal. No, not all the time, only in a square. So sometimes, only if the rhombus is a square. And then JKM, so angle JKM, where would that be? JKM is right here, and LKM, are those equal? Yes, because the diagonals bisect the angle, so always. Okay, moving on. Now we just have to classify the quadrilaterals. You guys had some practice with this on Khan Academy? Yes. I don't have a page. Ah, oh no. Um, let's see. Can we just like grab it out of this? You know what? I don't have this problem when my fourth period tears out the pages only. Oh <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Yep, no problem. Okay, um, so just classifying the quadrilateral, this one shows that all the sides are equal and the angles are all the same, so that would have to be a square. Um, this one, rectangle, it shows the 90 degree angle here. And then this one, again, rectangle. This one, it shows these two sides equal. Um, it also shows this would have to be 40 degrees, so that means these would have to be equal. So this is a rhombus. And then now we're going to bring in the math with the angle measures. It's saying that in exercise 11 through 14, find the measured of measures of the numbered angles of the rhombus. So we're following the rule uh, rules of rhombuses. Remember, all the sides are equal in length for rhombus. The diagonals are perpendicular, so where they intersect is going to be a 90 degree angle, and then the diagonals bisect the angle. So we'll use those rules to help us here. Okay, so if it's a rhombus, then 3 has to be 90 degrees. Also, the diagonals bisect the angle, so if this is 27, then this is 27 degrees. It's a parallelogram where opposite angles are equal, so that means that this would also have to be 27 degrees and 27 degrees. Um, now we're left with five and six. There's different ways you could do this. You could use the triangles to figure out that missing angle. Um, you could also use the fact that consecutive angles are supplementary to figure it out. I might just use a triangle. Like the three angles here have to add to 180, so I could do 180 minus 90 minus 27, and it comes out to 63. So this would be 63 degrees, and then again the diagonals bisect, so this would also have to be 63 degrees. Okay, number 12, again it tells us it's a rhombus. Um, so that means this angle has to be 90 degrees. Um, these diagonals bisect, so this would have to be 48. Um, then we could figure out this angle. This would have to be 90. These three angles would have to be one added to 180. So 180 minus 90 minus 48 equals 42 degrees. So this would be 42. 
And then this would also have to be 42. Opposite angles are equal and this bisects, so this would have to be 48. Okay, 13. Just continuing this whole thing. Um, it's a parallelogram, so opposite angles are equal. This would have to be 106. Um, in a parallelogram, consecutive angles are supplementary, so I can do 180 minus 106 to get this whole thing, which that would be 74. And then 74 divided by 2 would give me each one of those. So it would be 37, 37. Then this would also have to be 37, and this would have to be 37. And number 14, um, the diagonals, it tells me in the description it's a rhombus, so I know it has to be a rhombus. Um, that means the diagonals bisect, so this would be 72, then this would also be 72 and 72. Um, these two consecutive angles should be supplementary, wait, what's going on? Right. So it be, what? 72, 72, and then this angle, am I missing something? 180 minus 72 minus 72 equals what? 36. It is 36. I don't know why my brain doesn't think it's 36, but yep, it's 36. Okay. Um, one other thing I want to bring up here, because there isn't any examples with rectangles, and there is rectangles on your homework, so I just put a rectangle here. Okay, so let's say we have a rectangle, and they show the diagonals. They tell you it's a rectangle, so it follows all the rectangle rules, and then they tell you that this is 34. Well, in a rectangle, these diagonals bisect each other and they're equal. So all of this is the same measure, meaning that we have an isosceles triangle. So if this is 34, then this is 34. And also with a rectangle, you have 90 degree angles. So to find this angle right here, you could do 90 minus 34. So that would be 56. Then this would be 56. This would be 34, 34, and 56, and 56. And then in terms of these angles in the middle, you could use the triangle, like 180 minus 34 minus 34 would give you this angle. 112, and then these are supplementary, 68. 11268. And then square. A square is unique because they could literally not tell you anything and you could figure out everything. So diagonals here for a square. Well, a square is also a rhombus. So we have 90, 90, 90, and 90. then all these are equal. Um, so these two angles would be equal. 90 divided by 2 would be 45. So everything around it, all these little angles, would then be 45. 45 and 45. Technically 45 here, too. We're going to look at one on the back as well, just one. Okay, go on the back. We're just gonna do number 21 because there's one like this on the, in the homework bank. Okay, find the lengths of the diagonals of the rectangle right here. They don't show us the rectangle, so we'll just sketch it out so we know what the heck they're talking about. W, X, Y, Z. It says W, Y, so it's talking about the diagonal here. And so this would be W, Y and X, Z right here. Okay, it says find the lengths of the diagonals. Well, the diagonals and a rectangle are equal, so you can just set them equal and solve for x. Plus 
plus that equals nine, x equals three. Okay, I get x equals three, but they're actually asking for the length of the diagonal. So once you get x, you can just plug it in. Six times three minus seven, 18 minus seven is 11. And again, plug in three, nine plus two is 11. So we're good. It should come out to the same number since the diagonals are equal, so we're good. Okay, so now you have the rest of the class to do your homework. If you finish early, get your Khan Academy done. I saw some of you already have 10 Khan Academy done, which is awesome. So once you're done with your homework, just let me know and you can get your phone.